I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The vision of Doral Academy Charter Middle High School is to set the standard for outstanding student achievement while providing a safe and nurturing academic environment. Good morning, Firebirds. My name is Lise Fonseca. Today is Friday, November 18th, and this is the ninth episode of the fourth season of our weekly show, The Rise. Coming up on today's show, an update on school news, an inside look on the new club, HOSA, and our very own teacher's secrets. All this and more coming up on today's edition of The Rise. troupe hosted the One X performances this Wednesday and Thursday. The two plays, Luana and The Ghostly Revenge of Romeo and Juliet, are the same ones they competed with at the district and state competition. Congratulations, Firebird Thespians, on your first performances of the year. We're excited to see on what's coming next. Last Tuesday, seniors gathered at the Rusty Pelican for a fun-filled morning with delicious food, games, and the long-awaited results for senior superlatives. Categories like most likely to succeed, beauty and brains, and more were revealed on Tuesday at the breakfast. Due to the abundance of activities our school has, it can be difficult to stay aware of what's offered. Here's Francisco Vera uncovering what the Future Health Professionals Club, HOSA, is truly about. At the RAL Academy, there are around 40 established clubs providing our fellow Firebirds with an abundance of different opportunities in finding their passion and interests. HOSA is not only a club for students who plan on being future health professionals, but also grants our students a chance to immerse themselves in the healthcare industry. So HOSA offers a lot of new opportunities for these people that do want to be a future health professional. We give exposure to high school students way before college, and as teenagers, we do have a tendency to be uncertain on what we want to major in. Some topics may be veterinary sciences, some topics cover all health sciences, and so any student that's interested in those types of topics would benefit from HOSA. It not only helps them uncover their passions, but it gives them a community where they can learn freely. As students become aware of their surroundings, they have been able to adapt a healthier lifestyle and apply their current knowledge to enlighten those that are a part of HOSA. I definitely want to have a career in the future in the medical field. Um, ever since I became involved in my gym, and actually became aware of what I was eating to live a healthier lifestyle. I was really interested in nutrition. Today we had a lab on how to measure our blood pressure. So what that means is if you have a high blood pressure, you might want to restrict uh, eating red meats because it's clogging your arteries and it causes your heart to work even harder to get that blood through to wherever it needs to go. I don't think that people outside of HOSA know that it's so diverse in so many different topics like cardiovascular, neuro, I've seen a veterinary as well. So there is really a niche for every single person that is in our club. Reporting for Fiber TV, I'm Francisco Vera. Now back to your anchor. Being a student in Doral, one may be curious on how exactly the lives of our teachers look like. We're here to reveal the secrets of many of our teachers. <laughs> Most students don't know that I was the president of a sorority when I was in college. Because the president has to follow all the rules. It's a very teacher-like position. So despite my appearance looking as a Hispanic Viking, I actually really love uh, EDM music, and I really love dancing pretty much any chance I get outside. Uh, back when I was in college, I, I played in a few local bands that were not very good. Um, that I, I still really enjoy um, playing music, but kind of on my own, you know, in my, my little office at home. Okay, so sometimes you guys are actually really funny, and it's hard not to laugh when I'm trying to be serious and get you to behave in my class. 
all the misbehavior that we lament in our students, we are guilty of. And that includes Zoom, where if sometimes I'm scrolling on a Zoom meeting and I'm still listening to what's being said, I notice there are a lot of screens blacked out, right? Or we can see the ceiling fan, right? But we don't know who's doing what. I was the type of student that I was very good academically, but I always loved to be engaged and, you know, be excited in the classroom. And if it wasn't that type of classroom, I'd find some way to entertain myself. So I try to be, you know, that kind of teacher for the students too. For the most part, I think it really helps connecting with students in that way. It's really because of my students that I enjoy doing this job. It didn't matter what, but I'd be able to teach them. It's, it's about that relationship. It's important for, for me as much as it is, I think, for you guys. Now that the winter season is officially here, it's time to get the ball rolling with our sports report. Here's Gabriel Castillo with more. The beginning of our winter sports season has already provided some great games and performances. I'm Gabo Castillo, here to take a further look into this week's sports. Yesterday, our boys soccer team defeated Gulliver by a score of 3-1. George Gonzalez led the way with two goals, and Ronnie Martin scored a goal as well. They are now 3-1 on the season, and will play the next game on Tuesday, November 29th at Columbus. Today, our football team had an away game against Western at 7.30 for regional semifinals. With the win, we would advance to the regional finals, where we would play the winner of Columbus vs. Palmetto with a chance to advance to states. That's all for today, Firebirds. Now back to your anchors. Going into Thanksgiving break, it's easy to forget what's going on. Here are your weekly announcements to make sure you know everything you need to remember when you come back. Looking for a math tutor? Today after school, there will be a geometry tutoring for high schoolers from 2.30pm to 3.30pm in room 105A, and for middle schoolers from 3.30pm to 4.30pm. Slam Poetry will be hosting their November meeting today after school in room 422H at 2.45 p.m. This Thanksgiving-themed meeting will have fun treats. Be sure to follow up. For those interested in purchasing the yearbook, the Black Friday sale is taking place right now and ends November 27th. Make sure to buy now as it is at its lowest price. Doral Academy enrollment applications for the 2023-2024 through 2024 school year are now live. Be sure to check the school website for more information. Auditions for this year's school musical will take place December 3rd. This play will be Grease and auditions will be open for everyone from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. All you need is a one minute monologue and 30 seconds of a song. This Sunday, November 20th, there will be a chess tournament hosted by Scholastic Chess in the Scott Rucko Youth Center. If you are interested in joining, you can sign up via Doral Academy Chess Club free of charge. That's all for today's edition of The Rise. We hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure to follow us on all of our social medias at Firebird TV, and we hope you have a fantastic Friday. Signing off from Firebird TV, I'm Lise Fonseca. <laughs>